Good news! This is Peace News Now. I'm Derek J. Today is Tuesday, February 19th, 2013. Here's what's happening in the world of peaceful evolution. Bitcoin is trading around $28 American, 21 euros, and 18 British pounds. Paul Joseph Watson writes for Infowars.com. Wired Magazine reported that the Department of Homeland Security is pursuing lightweight spy drones that can fly for two hours at a time, but it's also interested in military-style drones fitted with cameras that can spy on up to four square miles at a time. As reported last week, the Argus IS surveillance camera system, developed by BAE Systems in conjunction with DARPA, has the capability to track every moving object in an area of 15 square miles or a medium-sized city, and could be fitted with unmanned drones that can stay airborne for years at a time. The DHS is already using another type of airborne drone surveillance, also utilized to track insurgents in Afghanistan and Iraq for the purpose of, quote, emergency and non-emergency incidents within the United States. Experts predict that there will be 30,000 surveillance drones in America's skies by 2020, following a bill passed last year by Congress that permits the use of unmanned aerial spy vehicles on domestic soil. Are you tired of the U.S. government killing people around the world? Are you tired of having to pay for their murderous rampage? Are you tired of feeling helpless to do anything about it? Well, now there's something you can do. It's called Bitcoin. Bitcoin is money that is impossible for the government to control. Bitcoin is impossible to be counterfeited or inflated. Bitcoin is simply a peer-to-peer -peer protocol, so it is impossible for anyone to shut it down, block it, or control it in any way. If you want to see an end to the government inflating the dollar to pay for murder, then you need to start using Bitcoin today. To learn how, visit weusecoins.com. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree Director's Cut DVD is here. After ending a year-long crime spree, I released a documentary featuring behind-the-scenes footage of me outrunning police on foot and the aftermath of my jail sentence. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree is on sale today, and never before has a documentary provided such an in-depth analysis of the criminal mind. Learn the reasons which drove this 22-year-old Philly boy to rack up 10 years' worth of charges in just six short months. But I was not alone. I was supported by the Shire Society, a large and tight-knit community of colorfully disobedient friends resisting government oppression in New Hampshire. The crime spree takes place mostly in Keene, New Hampshire, the northern capital of libertarianism, where over a hundred people have relocated to support each other in an attempt to live free. The Shire Society's and my effect on the residents of Keene is a mixed bag. While many oppose my antics, some people are supportive. The group made national headlines when it organized the first and only resistance of its kind with the creation of Thanks But No Tanks, a coalition whose goal is to stop the militarization of the local police. I knew I would end up in jail eventually, so why not use it to make a statement? Civil disobedience reveals who the real aggressors are, the ones wearing badges and following orders. The DVD features over four hours of behind-the-scenes footage, including video that has been banned from YouTube. It also features two special commentary tracks, plus footage of the real-life premiere at the movie at Keene Cinemas. The DVD is just $8.99 on Amazon.com. Get your copy today! Julia Seymour writes for CNSNews.com. The Energy Information Administration reported recently that the average household spent more on gas last year as a percentage of income than it had in 30 years. This President's Day also marked a full month of rising gas prices every single business day. Gas prices around North America are soaring ever closer to $4 a gallon and have jumped 51 cents a gallon since December 20th. The national average for a gallon of gasoline is now $3.73. While there has been a steady increase, prices shot up almost 9 cents just over the weekend. Gas prices will soon top the all-time high price of $4.11, set in 2008. The rising prices are a direct result of debasing the dollar by increasing the money supply. When a rising number of dollars are chasing a limited number of goods, prices will rise. That's all the time we have for today. Links to these stories can be found in this episode's show notes. Find PNN on YouTube, iTunes, Twitter, Facebook, and LiveLeak. For PeaceNewsNow.com, I'm Derek J. Peace!